It's seven in the morning, but this is my favorite way to start the day. Dory. Oh, good morning, my sweet girl. Oh, you're so perfect. Good morning. <laughs> All right, baby girl. It's just me and you today. Mama's busy. You want to start off with some raspberry? Mmm. <laughs> Are delicious. Let's give you some of your packet. This one today is organic pears, beets, and blackberries. So yummy. Yeah, is that a good one? <laughs> Oh, you're gonna tell him something? What are you gonna tell him over there? No. The Bella's got a busy day today. She's actually already gone. She'll pop back in and out here and there, but for the majority of the day, she's gonna be gone. So I get to hang out with Story all day. We're gonna have a good day. You wanna do an airplane one? Yeah. <laughs> and here comes a car. Breakfast time is over. Time for your post-breakfast nap. You're gonna drink a bottle. I need you to get a good nap, okay? Banks, you gotta go out. You gotta go out because you're distracting this little girl. Banks stands at the door and distracts her. You gotta go night-nights, mama, okay? Story just went down for a nap. And if there's one thing I've learned as a parent, it's that when your baby is sleeping, you have to take literally every second and just focus on yourself and get stuff done. She'll probably sleep for like an hour and a half. And then when she's up, my focus is back on her. So I've got an hour and a half to do what I gotta do. If I look tired today, that's because I've been editing a video for the last couple days, which I'm super pumped on. It's a video that I'm pretty much just doing a whole recap of our year of 2023. As I've been going back and watching these videos, I'm just I'm blown away of everything we've gone through over the year and everything that we've accomplished and then adopting story. It's been an amazing year, it's been awesome. But on top of that, I just have a lot to do, all the busy work, all the kind of annoying stuff that you gotta do as a parent. And thankfully, this video is sponsored by Rocket Money. Belle and I have been using Rocket Money for the last three years. I look at Rocket Money literally every single day. One of the biggest lifesavers. I'm not gonna get into this because a lot of people get mad, but there's different roles in marriage. One of my roles is I do all the bills and do all the finances. I'm grateful for Rocket Money. And one of the biggest things and the reasons I love Rocket Money is they tell you about all the subscriptions that you have going on. What blows my mind is there's subscriptions that Bella and I sign up for and we forget about. We think, oh, I'm gonna cancel that later. I'm just gonna use it for the two week trial, whatever it is and then you never end up canceling it. The cool thing about Rocket Money is you can literally cancel the subscription right here within the app. You don't have to worry about the customer service phone calls, you're not on the phone with the company trying to cancel and they're trying to talk you back into it. Rocket Money does all that for you. Rocket Money has helped their customers save an average of $720 a year and they've canceled over $500 million in reoccurring subscriptions. So I highly, suggest that everyone goes and downloads Rocket Money. You will be blown away with those subscriptions that have just been racking up month after month. Don't go into 2024 with money just being wasted as you're paying for subscriptions that you don't use. Go to rocketmoney.com backslash Vlogs. It's down here in the link in the description. Take control of your finances in 2024 and it's free. And then you can even unlock other features with premium. So go do it right now, rocketmoney.com backslash Vlogs. All right, story work woke up and I wasn't able to get much done. It wasn't the longest nap you've had. Were you still hungry or what? After lunch though, we're going swimming. I'm really excited for this. The pool is heated. Maybe go for a walk. Do you want to practice crawling? On the menu today, we got sweet potatoes, banana, a little bit of orange, and then we got some green beans, pear, and spinach packet. Oh, also, side note, this is the very first time she's ever sat in this high chair. Starting 2024 off in a big girl high chair. We both got our swimsuits on. You ready? You wanna go swim in the swimming pool? I've been wanting to swim a story for a minute now. So we heated the pool. It's a good 90, 95 degrees. It's like a hot tub. So let's go swim. Oh, the water looks so nice. I don't know what she, uh, what are you thinking? Do you want to splash your feet? Story, we just got out of the pool. Mom's trying to FaceTime us. We just went swimming. You guys look like you're having fun. 
I'm jealous. Love you. Love you. Bye. Story is so close to crawling. Look at that rock. Good job. You ready? Whoa. That was a good little scoop. Come on. Come on, you cute girl. Oh, no, no. You got to go back up. Thanks. Come here. Come here. Dory, your dog's waiting for you. Come get your dog. Good job. Yep. Get up on your knees. You got to pop back up on your knees. Put your arms in a little bit more. Oh, no. You fell down. All right. We'll keep working on it. She's so close to crawling. So close. I think within like the next week or so, we'll definitely be scooting around. I just pulled up to a park near our house right now. I'm gonna take Story on a long walk. And one of her favorite things is to go find ducks over at the pond. It's gonna be fun. We're just gonna go get out. She uh, might fall asleep in her stroller, and which will be good, because then I can keep her asleep in her car seat and take her home. But I'm excited just to go show her the ducks. All right, Story, I brought something for you. Since you're a big girl now, I brought you a sippy cup. Look, one hand right here. Oh! You know how to do it? She's learning how to crawl. She's drinking out of a sippy cup. She's growing up. It's crazy to me. Makes me want to cry, to be honest. I want her to stay little forever. Time goes fast. You see all those duckies right there? got home from our walk and I promised Bella that I would mount, this is Story's baby monitor, that I would mount it on the wall before she got home. So I just went to my neighbor's house, I had to go get two screws. You gonna help me mount this baby? She's been chewing on it for the last couple minutes though. So hopefully it still works because that's a lot of slobber going down that camera. Let's go mount it. So it's actually the next day, but I'm really excited to do this. This is kind of like mine and Story's first daddy-daughter date. I'm gonna go take her to get one of her favorite foods. She loves acai bowls. So we're gonna go get those. Every girl loves some good food for a date. And then maybe afterwards we can go shop. We can go get a little dress. Oh, I said shopping and that's what you say? Are you gonna be a shopper like your mom? Anyway, it's kind of chilly out there. It's kind of rainy, so we're bundling up. But let's go on our daddy-daughter date. Woo! All right, Story. It's a cold, windy day out there, baby. Yesterday was sunny and warm. Today is cold and windy. You wanna eat some acai with me? I brought you a little chair for you. How does that look right there? Does that look good right there? Oh, you guys sit down. Your chair matches your jammies. That's kind of cute. Your chair matches your jammies. Get to spend some time with my girl. Look, ooh, your favorite. Acai and bananas. All right, you ready for some of this? The first bite. One for you, one for me. One for story, one for me. You want some banana with it? This girl is by far the coolest little human I've ever met. She's just such a vibe. She's just chill, hangs out with us. <laughs> we gotta stay clean because I forgot your bib, okay? Doing daddy-daughter dates like this is something I wanna do a lot. I just think it makes the kid feels so special. Just get one on one time. Oh, you want some more? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh no. It's getting messy. It's getting messy. Oh, you attack that one. This uh, acai place, they don't really have good seating inside. It's mostly all outside. And since it's kind of stormy and cold and windy, we're in the truck today. One of my good friends, Ari Leindijk, does a really good job at taking his kids out for like special one on one time. I've always liked that, so I always like, Bell and I always talked about how we want to be like that. So here we are. All right, Story. Hi. <laughs> you always look at me and laugh. Why do you do that? Every time you look at me, you just start laughing. Story, Story. Oh, you want more? Okay, my bad. My bad. Story, you look pretty swaggy in that beanie. I can't wear beanies. It makes my head look weird. Also, I didn't bring anything to wipe your mouth. Uh-oh, I did bring the chair though, that you could sit there. All right, it's time for bed for this little one. We're gonna read some books. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. He spun his web so high so he can see the world go by. I don't like that book. Where's the shark book? All right, this is my favorite book. You must never touch a giant shark who's in a snappy mood. All right, Story, before the day ends, I just wanna tell you that I love you. I'm so grateful I'm your dad. Thanks for letting me hang out with you today. 
<laughs> Is that funny? Did you enjoy hanging out with me? Mwah. I love you so much.